Hello and welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth. And uh, today we've got an unusual number of puzzles. We're doing three this Sunday. Now, what happened was um, I was uploading some of my videos for today and actually for tomorrow and my desktop crashed and I didn't even realize that it had. So as a result of that, my video this morning for this Sunday was actually quite late. And you know, I hate being late. So what better way of apologizing than having three puzzles for this Sunday, just to say, sorry about the lack of punctuality, and um, let's enjoy three puzzles. Now, some of you may remember that, I can't remember if it was last week or some, it was definitely last week, but I can't remember if it was the weekend or during the week. I played this variant, and the name of the puzzle was actually Pointing Arrows. Now, if you haven't played it, definitely play that one first, because it is going to be a much more approachable puzzle than what we are going to play today. And um, I made a remark about the fact that I was actually playing this puzzle, and it's, it's meant to be approachable, but, you know, like I don't remember what it was, 20 minutes in or something, I only had a handful of digits. And I then realized I was actually playing a different puzzle called pointers rather than pointing arrows. Now, some of you have requested, having played it, that I do feature it, so for those of you that have already played it, you know, my apologies, you do get, I guess, a repeat of something that you've already played, so it's not quite the same. Uh, but for those of you that haven't played this, like I said, the first play pointing arrows is going to be a lot more approachable, help you wrap your mind around this particular variant. Um, but otherwise, let's take a look at the actual puzzle. Um, I'm not really going to comment about the thumbnail because I'm sort of repeating what I've done earlier in that. As soon as the word pointers comes along, I just imagined laser pointers and, you know, the classic scene of all of the kids just playing around, messing with their laser pointers, trying to blind one another. The teacher seems very kind of cool about it, and I'm not sure I'm okay with that. Let's take a look at the puzzle. What do we have in store for today? So, pointers by arbitrary. I think I can actually increase the title size a little bit. Sorry, I missed that. Let's make it a bit more readable. Right, that's a bit better. And um, it's not that many rules. It's essentially two rules. First one, I think all of you are going to be familiar with that. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so that means place the digits 1 to 9 in every row, every column, and in every 3x3 three three box. No repeats in any of these. And this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So pointer arrows are both arrow sums. So that means each of these circles must have a digit that's equal to the sum of the arrows that belong to it. So these three cells that are on the arrow, they sum up to a value they belong in that circle. When it's just one cell, it just means that these two are the same because they have to have the sum of what's in the arrow belongs in the circle. But the interesting part is arrow points or pointer arrows, the arrow tips point towards a cell containing the digit within the arrow circle. So this arrow tip is pointing down this diagonal you can see. And what it's saying is that somewhere down here is the same value that's what's inside that circle. Now, how much further are you going to say? Well, it goes on to explain. The value in the arrow tip indicates the distance from the arrow tip. So for example, if this was, let's say, a 6, then you count 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, and both of these now have to be the same value, whatever that ends up being. So, um, it's a straightforward rule, but I do remember that I really struggled with this puzzle. I had to restart it just to make sure I don't give anything away. So the first like a handful of minutes are going to go reasonably quickly for me, but then hopefully I won't get stuck. So, if you are not scared by anything I've just described, if you want to take away all these laser pointers from those kids, link will be in the description down below as usual for you to play along. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. So you may have seen from pointing arrows or my solve of it, that one thing that really helps is to think about what these values could be. And you're going to see that they're actually limited by the edges of the grid. So this arrow tip could be one, could be two, could be three. 
but any higher is pointing at digits that are off the grid and that's not really that's clearly not going to be possible so these two since they're pointing in the same direction and they're in the same column are one two and three and they're limited to that this one one two three and four although i will point out there is a trick here can't be one because it's pointing towards this cell and what we know about these one cell arrow is that these two are the same so essentially if i have a one in here that would be a one as well and now it's saying there's another one in here and i've broken the puzzle so this cannot be one excuse me cannot be one but it can be two three or four we've got something very similar going on here it can't be one it can't be two but it can be three four or five so three four or five not one, not two, three, four, or five, three, four, or five. And now we have in box five a quintuple. With clearly, the one is unique in here, the five is unique in there. We also have fairly large arrows, such as, you know, the minimum I can make this is six, seven, eight, or nine, because that's one, two, or three as a minimum. And the same as here, one, two, three as a minimum, six, seven, eight, or nine. And I'm very deliberate in that I picked this arrow because take a look at what this is, actually this one is pointing at. So if this is one, two, three, try that. What? this is now saying yeah one two three is that one two three that this circle whatever its value which is six seven eight or nine is three away so one two three i've broken the puzzle again so i can't point at this cell because it's saying that these two would have to match the circle and the circle in here is only two, three, or four, and the circle in there is six, seven, eight, or nine. So that's not three, that's two or four. Can it be four? One, two, three, four. And I would put a four in here, which is possible. Actually, better still, before I do that, think about this arrow. It can't be one because we'd put the same value in the same column. It's not two because that's only one, two, three. This is six, seven, eight, or nine. We said it's not three because again, two different values. Let me remove the three from that. It's also not four because that's two and four and this is six, seven, eight, or nine. So this is five or six. Now, although technically this could be four, I could do one, two, three, and four and I can place a four in here but with another five as a minimum and a one as a minimum, we're already at 10 and we've broken the puzzle again. So that's a long way of saying we have a digit and it's a two. Then we have no twos in here, that's a one, three pair. Therefore, no threes in here, that's a four, five pair. And the two saying one, two, that's a two in here. And we have digits. I seem to remember that I got stuck round about here last time, so I'm going to have to really think about what on earth I'm doing here. So let's carry on thinking about arrow tips. This arrow tip could be one. That looks reasonable. Can't be two because I've already placed it. Could be three. Can't be four because I have a four or five pair around it. So it's essentially one of these two cells is this cell. Now, if it is one, I'm pointing at a four or five. I can't put a three in here because I've got a one three pair. I could do a four. So that would be a one, a four, and it's pointing at a five, which makes this a four which breaks the puzzle again. So, yeah, I don't think this can be a one. This is a three. This is the blue. This is not blue. I'll just remove the colors. And then we need to figure out what this is. Well, it's not one. It's not two. It's not three. 
technically it could be four, five or six. So these are seven, eight or nine. And it's actually quite helpful that this is seven, eight or nine. Let me just think about what it could be. So either it's pointing towards a one, a two, which I think is actually, no, two is not available, three is not available. Interesting. So one is available, two is not because it's in the column, three is not because it's in the column. The last remaining option is four. And I think that's crazy because if I put a seven, eight or nine, even if I minimize it with a seven, with a five, that doesn't work. That's 12, that's 13, doesn't fit in one cell. That's one. Actually, just for my sanity, I'm going to say this is, so if this is five, I could put up to four in here. So that would be a one, four, one three pair. If it's a six, I can, I can, I'd have to put a one, two pair in there. So there's always a one and it's made up of one, two, three. And actually that one kind of fortuitous timing. So this is two, three, this is five, six, this is a one. This is no longer six or seven. It's a minimum of eight and nine. One, two, five and in a minimum of eight. <laughs> Lovely. Right, where to next? Oh yeah, of course. This is now the same value, seven, eight, and nine, not six, seven, eight, and nine. I'd really like to know what these are. Because if I can remove a value, whether it's the four or the five, that really helps. So what is this pointing towards? One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five. So either this value is four, or this value is five. So this is clearly going to be limited, because if it's not four, it's going to be something that adds up to five on these two cells. So this is a maximum of two, three, four. Ignore the five, excuse me. And what's the maximum I can make this? You might think it's nine, but I don't think that's true either. Because when this is four, this is five. So I end up with this very weird setup. If I place a four in here, I'll place a five in there. And the reverse is true in that if I place a five in here, I'll place a four in there, making this not a four. And then that would be a two, three pair. So I guess the answer is this cannot be a nine. If that's a four, that's not nine. It's also not eight because I can't put a second four in here. But I, and I don't have one available. So I could put two or three with the four. So this is five, six, or seven. Because if that's four, this is from two or three, and therefore it's six or seven. If that's not four, well, we know it's five, and this is five, and therefore this is because I can't put four one on here, it's a two three pair. The interesting thing is, it's always there's always a two three pair in here because it's either four with a two three and this is six seven, or this is five and we have a two three pair in here. And it's like almost a two three pair. Frustratingly, not a two three pair. So I can't exactly eliminate anything in here. And a long way of saying this tells me nothing <laughs> about where I actually started. So um, it feels like I'm going to have to just dig a bit deeper. So this is saying it's either one, two, and it's the same value as this, which it can't be. If this is two, one, two, this would have to be a five at least. But it can't be because if this is two, that's five, that's five. Five is not seven, eight, or nine. Here is a phenomenal deduction for you. So that's not a two. But it could be one, two, or three, 
Unfortunately, it could also be one, two, no, sorry, one, two, three, four. Can it be four? I'm going to say maybe. I'm going to say maybe. Because if that's a four, I can still get up to six or seven. And yes, if I'm in here, I'm not four or five. But that doesn't matter. By the time I put a four on here, I'm already beyond that. So unfortunately, that's the smallest I can make it. Next arrow then. This arrow maybe. Let's have a think about that. I, I mean, I can do a lot with this arrow. I mean, I'm just, again, my been just not thinking very clearly. I have a two in the box. And therefore, the minimum of one, two, three is no longer available. I can't make that a six. Can't make that a seven because to get to a seven, it's one, two, four, and two is not available. So it's not a seven either. What is it now? Because two is not available, because one option for nine is always two, three, four. But because two is not available, I actually have to have a one on this. Anything else would be too big, because if I don't use one or two, the minimum this would be is three, four, five, and then that's 12, which it can't be. So that's, there's a one in here. It's not because of this one, it's not in there. And then there is either a three, four to make eight, or three, five to make nine. And notice this is not four or five, it's looking at this cell. So this is not four or five, that's a three. That can only be, excuse me, the one, because it has to have a one on here. And that's not a three, that's a four or five. And the one, of course, is looking in here, that's a three, that's a one. That means the seven, eight, nine is in here. So this cell is a different value from this blue. So this is seven, eight, and nine. No, I've broken it. How did I break it? It was going so well. What, where, where did it go? Of course, because both of these can be one. You see, the reason I said I broke it is blue is clearly not there, and it's clearly not in these three cells, so blue is in here. So there's no way that this is a one, this has to be a three, this has to be a one, that's not the one, that is the one. And now, unfortunately, I don't actually know what this is. So this is three or four, or three and five, but there's definitely a three in here. Um, and then blue is one, two, three, down here. Glad I recovered from that reasonably quickly otherwise I'd have been lost for ages I think um, seven eight and nine come on sleuth you must be able to figure this out so this could be one two three possible one two three four possible one two three four five it's kind of like indicating it's almost hinting that this is blue but i just don't have proof of that i should have pointed out that as part of the rules the fact that this is pointing at a blue here doesn't matter that there may be another blue between them so there may be other instances of the same digit between this cell and the arrow tip i think it all comes back down to these two i need to figure out which one is the four and which one is the five but whatever this value is, I'm going to say orange, is now in here. And because the minimum this can be is 6, this is, again, 7, 8, or 9. This is 7, 8, or 9 again. And it is orange, not blue. I mean, come on, sleuth, a bit of Sudoku. Given this is orange and not blue, where does blue go in this box? Sleuth, sleuth, sleuth. Blue. Which means blue is not a seven. 
and therefore this is not a 4. Not that it helps, it doesn't actually tell me that this is a 5. But we do have an 8-9 pair. And then this is pointing at blue. So there's an 8 or 9 in here. How am I going to figure out which one it is? Maybe I want to think about these for a second. It's just it'll be so much easier if I actually know the value of this. So whilst tempting, it's not really. So blue is in, excuse me, is in one of these two cells. Blue is in one of these two cells. Feels very unlikely that it is this one. Very unlikely. Because that would force a 1, an 8, and a 9. I mean, it's, it's possible. It's just, you know, very constrained. And then blue is in none of these. It can't be that. So that's this 5, 6, or 7. Can't be on an arrow sum that is, you know, part of the total. So the, one of these is blue. And we have this sort of, like, this X-wing pattern that I should have just... How about a bit of Sudoku sleuth? bit of Sudoku. That's 8 and 9. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is almost certainly a 4. Because there is no blue beyond that. And it can't be 3. So that is a 4. There has to be a 3. That's a 3. These are now all 8. And therefore, this is a 9. Um, there is an 8 in one of these, there is an 8 in one of these, and there is an 8 in one of these. Now the 9, I could still do this in one of two ways. I could still do 1, 3, 5, which would put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 9 in here, or a 9 in there if it's 6. So all I know that these, the 9s are in here. What it does tell me, though, is orange is not 8 and it's not 9 because it sees both of them that's 7 which is 6 and 9 and that's 7 right it's all coming together now maybe we can solve this excuse me red I don't know if I need to color it that's 9 keep saying do a bit of Sudoku Sleuth and then ignore it so how about I do a little bit of that now and then to finish this, I need 1 and 4. Have I really not figured these two out yet? Or am I just missing something incredibly obvious? Probably. 1, 2, 3, 4. Still seems fine to me. 5. Still seems fine. Yeah, seems fine to me. Right, hang on. 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, unfortunately, possible this could still be 6 or 7. If that's 3, it can't be 6. And it can't be 7. Wow. Here. If that's 3, it's pointing at 1, 2, 3. Oh, it can be 5. I can put a 2 in there. Ignore that. Let me just fill these in. This is five seven two five seven, and this is nine six three six nine. Right, this is clearly going to be what helps me here. Is it what's going to help me that helps me here? I should probably think about this if this is a nine or not. I really should because it's pointing towards potentially a 9 in here, which can only be in one of these two cells. A 1 would be lovely because it would put a 1 and an 8, and this would be the 9. And then the other possibility would be 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that would be a 5, and I can't put a 4 because I've already got a 4, 5 in here. So that would be forced 1, 8 if this is a 9. But it's a distraction, I think. I mean, I need to probably think about it at some point, but it seems like it's down the line. How about 
here is a 5 to make this add up to an 8. And therefore, this tells me 1, 2, 3. Mm, doesn't tell me anything. Oh, that, the 5 does, though. That tells me that's a 4, that's a 4, that's a 4. That's now telling me it's pointing at 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, this can only be 6 or 7. Well, it's a 6. 2, 6. And therefore, these are 5s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sorry, I'm being a bit slow at the moment. And that gives me the 9. That gives me the 5. That gives me the 6. And I'm so happy about the 6 because that tells me that's the 9. And that's not a 9. And I think that forces, well, hopefully forces a 1, 8. Because I could do 1, 8. That's one way of getting to 9. Can't do 2 in here. I could do 2, 7 technically. Looks like that's possible. Let me just tidy it up. Um, can I do 3, 6? No, because I've got a 3, 6 staring at it. And then 4 and 5 are staring at it as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, 7 is off the grid, so 7 is not an option. That's 1. That's 8. That's a 9. That's a 3. And we're off to the races. That 8 gives me this 8, which gives me this 8. And I think that's all the 8's done. Right, home stretch now. I think it is home stretch. Yeah, nine is done. Have I? No, I haven't done this arrow. I probably should do that one. But what I'm going to just quickly check is have I placed all the arrows and their digits? And I think the answer to that is yes. Almost all of them. Yeah, so everything is done, arrow-wise, except for this one. I mean, the one is done, but I don't know what the rest of this is. So these need to add up to 7. So options. So neither of them can be 2, because of these 2s. That one as well, but essentially neither of these can be 2. Technically, this could be a 1, 6. Can't place 2. Can I do 3? Three with a five. Probably. Well, no, two fives are staring at them, so no fives. So even though I can place a three, I need a partner five, which is not available. And I can't do two fours because there's this four. So this is force. This is one and six, and I have placed the eight that's associated with it. That's a four, that's a one. And I think we're basically done. It's just Sudoku now. One, two, these are three, four, seven, I believe. That's, this is not four or seven, that's a three. That can't be a four, that's the four, that's the seven. Probably should have done some of these a bit earlier, it would have helped. That can't be a five, that's the five. This is the last digit, which is a three. I need a seven and nine in here. That nine tells me the order, that's a nine, that's a seven. What do I need in here? I need loads. I need a 2, which can only be in here. A 3, which has to be in there. 4, unknown. This is a 5, of course, 3 and 8. Keep ignoring these incomplete arrows. 7 and 9, it looks like. Well, that's not 7. And that's not 9. Um, this is not a 7 anymore, that's a 5, that's not 5, 2 and 7, can I distinguish? Not yet. What do I need in this column? I need 2, 7 and 4. Well, 4 is not in here, that's a 4, that's 2 or 7, it's not a 2, that's 7, 2, 7, 3. I need a 2 with a 6, don't know either. This is four or seven. Yeah, looks like it's not disambiguated. What is this cell? I need seven, nine, and six. 
How is it still fighting? Right, six and nine in here. That's not the six. That's the nine. That's the six. That's the seven, nine. It's not a nine. That's a seven. That's a nine. That gives me all of these. Four, seven, four. I need a one and nine. Well, that nine is doing lots of work for us. Nine, one, ones. Ignore the two for a second. What is this cell? This is five. Threes. I can place fours. I can do that. No, I can't. I've already placed it. Four, five. I need six. What about seven? Well, this is two or six. Let's just do that. This is six. This is two. This is six. Seven goes in here. And then the last remaining digit was a two. And that's a solution to today's puzzle. It's a lovely puzzle arbitrary. It's a lovely rule set. I mean, um, I hope that you guys do give it a go. Um, if you just watch the solve, just restart it, have a think about these arrows, and just see how they interplay. It's a phenomenal construction from arbitrary. Well, um, hope that you guys enjoyed the video um, and the puzzle, of course, and see you back for the next one. Bye for now.